Hello. Hello, people. Hi. Welcome, welcome. Hi. Oh my gosh. Hello, hello. Let me see we're all so the happy to faces. see you. Okay. okay, so we're going to start now. I just want to introduce myself for those who don't know me. My name is Teacher Maya. I'm the head tutor for West Harbor and Unsworth Heights and Albany. And um, in behalf of my team, which is my awesome teachers are here, Teacher Anne. She's with the Hobby Point School and Headquarters and Westminster School. So you can clap where you are if you want. And Teacher Lily. Teacher Lily is in Marina View School. She's also in Green High and in Albany Hub. For me, I teach Marina View School and I have online students, okay? So that's a short introduction from me. Over to you, Teacher Lily Bett. Hi guys. So I'm Lily Bett. Um, some of you know me already. Um, welcome to the art show. I'm really excited to show you guys um, all the prizes that we have. Elena is going to show you guys that soon. Um, and Kimmy's here with us today as well. Kimmy from Botany. I know some of you guys know who. Give me a wave if Kimmy's your teacher. Awesome. And Jeffrey's here as well. You guys can give us a wave of Jeffrey's your teacher. He's in the Green Lane um, Cornwall Park School. And also Ismay. Ismay's teaching in Epsom. So she's here as well. Welcome, you guys. Um, I'll pass it on to Elena so she can talk more. Yeah. Hi, guys. Welcome, everyone. Uh, you probably know me already. I'm the principal of the school and the founder of Realistic Start Academy. Now, we've been teaching for... How long now? About over 10 years now, we've been teaching students all over Auckland. Uh, probably we had uh, more than a thousand students every year in the past couple of years, which was exciting. And we've taught lots of students that have um, graduated from us. And now so many people can draw and make the world more creative place. And which is exciting. That's what we want. That's what uh, you are here for. You don't, you, you don't just want to draw realistically, but you want to draw creatively as well. You want to be an innovator. You want to be um, a little star in your classroom. You know, you want to be uh, really good at what you want to draw. You know, you start at something very simple and then make something amazing. I'll talk about that a little bit more in our stages. So I'm um, very uh, excited to see you guys here. I also wanted to say that um, I work with the teachers. You know the teachers there. You've got Ellie, and she's in North Shore. And Alba, she's in Central Auckland. Where, where do we have Alba? We have Ramira and Point Chef. That's Alba, and she's online with us as well. And Karen and Silverdale. You know Karen, guys. Um, and Fiona, Fiona is in Central Auckland. We've got Mount Eden, Ramira, and Gray Lynn, and online. So give a wave. She's right there as well. You know, hello, Fiona. <laughs> Love our teachers. Well done. What a great year. And I'm so glad you guys have joined us for this term four. It's super exciting. And what's special about it is our end of year online art show. So cute creatures. Welcome to Cute Creatures 2021. All right. All right. Okay. So to officially kick off our show, here we go. We will start now with our little star awards. Okay. So these would be for the five to seven year olds. I think five to eight year olds. Um, so we will look. We will look at their works and our recipients this year. Shall I? Shall I announce the prizes? Oh, before yes, you yeah. can announce yeah. first. Let's have a look at the prizes. Let's have a look at the prizes first. Okay, so for little stars, the little stars, who are they? Little stars are those young students who have just started on that journey of drawing and they are starting to get it, okay? So you're starting to, something starting to work in your drawing, okay? You are starting to see how to get things together. You are in process, you're in the beginning. But we want to mention you and give you something special. So um, we got for the little stars, we got some of these. This is Christmas tree hanging sweets. And you'll also get one of our not eatable ones as well. So one of these. 
and one of the eatable ones here and yes. a certificate as well we'll get those sorted for you guys awesome okay so let's see this year's recipients okay all right oh that's the wrong video maya what are you doing <laughs> okay by the way pardon me if i um if i don't say your name properly i'll do my best okay all right for our little stars five to six years we have edith willis or edie we have elena wang i saw elena here earlier carlo sutton and kala headley okay beautiful pictures you guys Love very you. wonderful okay all right for our seven to eight year olds we have ziana shu holly ruakere Ella Bromley and Chan Yi Gao. Okay. I think that's our little, more little stars. We have more Katie, Katie Kui, Victoria Gribanov, and Bella Yang. Wow. Okay, so, so we can show them love. We can do our own clapping where we are, and then we'll proceed to our next, um, our next category, okay? Wonderful. Um, shall uh, shall we? Uh, do you guys want to just put up uh, an emoji or something or a clap? Do they have clapping emojis? You guys should very put a box that says reactions in there, and you can put a little. Yeah, yeah. you can put a yeah. reaction. Yeah. We'll just show a big clap well done for the yeah. little stars. In well the beginning, done. it's tough. So when when you're a little star, you're working through a lot of things. So well done, you guys. Well uh, done. Um, what have we got next? Um, I okay. Shall introduce rising yes. stars. Shall I? So we're going to talk about Elena's going to talk about the rising stars award. Okay. All right. So rising stars. Rising stars are those students who are a little bit older. What's the age from nine to thirteen? Yeah. Yes, fourteen. Uh, yeah, nine to thirteen, fourteen. So uh, rising stars are those students who um are really getting things together really well in the art world. They're starting to get most of the realistic drawing skills there. So maybe some are still, you know, a challenge and they're still working through it, but they're starting to get the idea right and they keep trying, which is important. And maybe they're even working extra time at home just to get better at what they're doing. And we can, we would like to notice them as well. We would like to uh, give them something special. So what we've got, um, um, for them, uh, let me see here. All right, so we've got some chocolates for the rising stars. Plus, we're going to also get um, some watercolor paint for rising stars as well. Now, I don't have a set here, but it will be there when uh, we give out the prizes. All right. Yes. Okay. That's all for right. the rising stars. Very cool. Thank you for that. So here we go um let's see our winners and please enjoy the art it's okay beautiful. so beautiful. for our rising star awards this Yahoo! year's winners okay eli sharples delphi fabricius lucas liu ethan song okay. wonderful wonderful nice isn't that a cute old. hamburger <laughs> don't eat that Isn't burger that very cute okay let's see we've got more we've got for nine to ten years lucy stowe gu park addison clark i think my addison clark and sharujan sena Siraja. so wonderful flying hippo liquid cat and the little dragon and the beautiful scene wonderful yes. looking fantastic wonderful. very exciting I hope everyone can see I'm not blocking. Okay, next we have Rising Stars for 11 year olds. We have Ziyu One Song, Wendelin, I'm sorry that it's blocking, Wendelin Basanes, Coco Lily Butler. Beautiful yes. designs, wonderful artwork. We have to say, guys, we found it so hard to choose winners this year in all the categories. Yes. Exactly. Okay. So this is for rising stars 12 and above. We have Emilia Tuitama, Annika Annalyn, and we have Felicity Fang, 
and Levi Tao. Congratulations. Wonderful. Congratulations. Congratulations. Big clap for Rising Stars. Well done. Excellent work, guys. So excited. Shall we introduce the next prizes? Okay. The next yeah. prizes, our next category is the, we're going to start with the junior. I uh, know, People's Choice. People's, people's Choice Awards. Award. That's about right. People's so I'll talk choice. about People's Choice a little bit. Thank you for reminding. Now, People's Choice is um, what we have the voting for on artcompetitions.co.nz website. So we will show you some of the people choices, those, um, those students who uh, have been really sparkling on the website and lots of people have been uh, noticing them and wanted to vote for them. Yes. Sometimes, yeah, so you, you, would have, you would see they change places a lot because there was uh, a fight for the first place for people's choice. And but it, it's amazing, you know, how many how many people went to the website to actually look at the beautiful artwork. And usually when we invite people to look, they look at a lot of artworks and vote for a whole lot of pictures. So yes. um, that's what people's of choice votes. is for, you know, it's to invite everyone to come and see everyone's artwork. That's All right. right. OK, so let's see. Let's mm -hmm. see who who is in the running. Okay, People's Choice Awards. It's a fun award. Okay, let's go. So our People's Choice Awards are in different age groups. Okay, I hope you can see everyone. So for age five to six, we have Candice. These are the finalists. Candice Dapilan, Samuel Luo, and Min Pham. That's the, the finalist. Yeah, the that's finalist. the top three. Top, top three. three, but our winner and our prize goes to Candice. Candice DePilan, I think you're here. I think I saw your name. 1,000 votes. Well done. Well done. Wow. How okay. amazing. Ah, I, I didn't say what the prize. I'll say at the end what the prize is. Yes, mean. exactly. Very <laughs> yummy. Fantastic. Okay. All right. Next, for age seven to eight, we have our top, top three, three, Indy Ford, Victoria Gribanov, and Victoria's two artworks. So Victoria times two. But the winner is Indy Ford with 813 votes. Oh, well done. Well done, Indy. So Indy's here. Indy's here. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, Congratulations, fantastic. Indy. Congratulations. Okay, over to the next nine to 10, our top three Rocio Pimentel, Kilia Alipur, and Angel Thakar are top, as you can see in those numbers. This one was always changing, right, Lily Beth? <laughs> yes. Back. Fight for the first place. Rocio, 900 votes. That's insane. That's awesome. <laughs> Wonderful, guys. Very, very cute creature, I think. Very cute. <laughs> very cool. And very good with your social media. <laughs> OK, age 11 category. Top three. Tevita Veyamoy. I hope I'm saying it right. Arena Pichikina and Tevita again. And good thing, Tevita, because you had two of them in the top three, you still got the top prize at 840 votes. Congratulations, Wonderful. Tevita. Congratulations. Congratulations. Fantastic. Okay, and the next People's Choice, the last category, we have top three, Alisa Yo. Alisa Yo again, and Felicity Fang. I saw Felicity here with her family okay i saw them in the and the winner is i hope you're here Al Alyssa. congratulations congratulations six, six, well one done a beautiful artwork i must okay. say very very cute kittens very two and one yes oh, sorry sorry Excellent. all right so shall i show okay. the prize and um, let's yes. see so people's choice okay. people's choice awards get this big box it's really big you can see yeah. It's bigger than your head. And it says hero. <laughs> well done. Very hero. good. Yes. So you guys Very are fun. heroes. Yeah. So, so that's heroes. For our people's choice. Now, um, okay. We, we are going to get, okay, Elena, I'm going to get you to talk through junior yeah. innovatrix because people might be asking, what is an innovatrix? So please All explain. Right. All right. So, innovatrix. Innovatrix is an award 
for students who are extra creative and innovative in their work. Now, remember, for this is we're getting into the big awards, and the big awards, when we choose a big award, we don't just look at one artwork that is put up on the art show. We do look at the supporting artwork, and we do consider the work done in classes as well. So it is quite consistent. So um, for innovatrix, we really want to encourage everyone to be very creative. Um, think outside the box. Um, uh, also, when you're creating your creatures, maybe it, it could be a super cute creature, or maybe it could be something in the composition that really catches our eye. Um, and overall, uh, the skills that you show, we also look at those too. So, it, but it is focus, our focus with Innovatrix is creativity. Okay. Yes. So that's what that. we want. Now um, I'll show the price for junior innovators. That's for ages we have five to six, five, seven to eight. Seven to eight. Yes. Okay. So here we go. Our little, little oh, what a balloon cute dog. dog. Yes. It is very yes. cute. It's very unique. Very hard to get. These ones yes. are very beautiful. And you're going to get your chocolates as well, like that. Fantastic. All right. That's for the junior innovatrix. Okay, so let's see. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you those who um, were the finalists and the, the one who won. Okay, the finalists were like the runner up, runners up. Thank you for giving us a hard time, right? <laughs> it was so, it was so hard. hard. <laughs> but it's a good problem. It's a yes. good problem. Yes. Okay, here we go. Junior Innovatrix Art Awards, let's see, age five to six category, our finalists, Evangeline Hardingham and Carlo Sutton. The winner is Nathan Shu, Green Heights Woo! School. Well done, Nathan. Nathan, well done, Nathan. okay. Well um, done, Nathan. Maya, do you want to talk about this work a little bit? Uh, what uh, what you can see there for Innovatrix and, and what we really enjoyed about that work? Okay, I think what, one thing that we all saw is that it's very um, creative from the creature to all the little uh, gadgets above the head of the caterpillar, or I think has a hard hat. And um, even, but in, in addition to that, Nathan did focus on doing his shading and um, he was, it was very creative, but he had some order to it and he had, um, he took time with it. That's why we love it. And if you look, there's actually a small version of that little um, centipede and the centipedes got different shoes and all that. So we were really impressed. So congratulations, Nathan. Okay. Well done. Very awesome. high detail work as well, which is really cool. And Nathan also shows um, that detail and creativity in the other works as well, and his supporting yes. work, which is also True. quite exciting. Well done, Nathan. Be clear for you. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay. All right. So next for our next age category for our junior innovatrix, our finalists. Whoa, this was tough. Look at how Oh, we have fantastic. Finals. We got a club for these people, okay? Because this was tough, okay? Even if they're finalists, they are. They made it this far. Katie Kui, Ryan Miller, Chael Silva, and Ziana Shu. Congratulations. Congratulations, you'll, you'll guys. It was really time. tough to choose this time. Very, very <laughs> tough. I saw Ryan here. Hi, Ryan. I saw you. Congratulations for being a finalist. But there can only be one winner, and our winner is Liam Gomez. So this is his work. Okay, maybe who wants to talk about? Yeah, I can talk about this yeah. work if you like. This um, it, it really impresses this work because it's it's the composition is creative. It's really it has its challenges. You know, uh, drawing human faces and human form is always a challenge. But I, I like when students try out the challenges and really try it out and create a beautiful work with nice texture. You can see beautiful details in there. And it looks like um, uh, Liam really put in the time to get this as perfect as he can. It looks fantastic. Very creative. Well done, Liam. Well done. Okay, I'm going to pop out of here because... You're going to talk about, I think we're doing 
Innovatrix. Before we continue, I just want to acknowledge everyone who's been coming in. Hello and welcome to our art show. Thank you for making it. We, we know your time is so valuable, but we're so glad you're here with us. Okay. Um, okay. Elena, did for you want to talk about Innovatrix main prizes for uh, main category? So it's four ages. We have nine up to about 14. That's right. Uh, so what we have, we have our fantastic balloon dogs, the big ones here. We've got this one. And we've got, so it's uh, pink, gold, silver, and we have the golden one. All right. Ta-da. So shiny. ta -da. I love, I love Beautiful those. and shiny. Yeah. That's the big awards for Innovator X category. Okay. So, and also, uh, I forgot to mention that all the big awards are also getting Gordon Harris vouchers. Oh, yes. Very you can shop. Christmas, so you'll have some extra stationery to use over Christmas holidays to do yes. some nice artworks with. Yes. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. So thank you. So now that we know what's up for grabs, I have to make sure I, yes. Okay. So let's carry on. Okay. So for our next category, Innovatrix Art Awards. Age nine to 10 category, our finalists. Ooh, give, give a shout out or a clap for Eli Sharples, Addison Clark, Alice Yang, Lexi Mill, and Ahmed Abdullah. I, the name, did I say it right? Because it's covered on my end. Yeah, okay. well done. Well, well done. done. Big clap to you guys. It's really hard to get into finalists for um, main innovatrix category. Well done. I think all of the artworks were fantastic. You can see they are already beautiful, high We're detail. So many com comments in the um, in the chat box here, guys, from people yeah. saying how awesome the artworks are and what they love about it. So send me a little message what you think about the artwork. Yeah, yeah. Send us a little okay. message what you love about the artworks. Yeah, because yes. um, uh, I, I, you know, when I looked at these works really for uh, Innovatrix categories, uh, I couldn't stop looking at them. They're so creative, high detail, beautiful color, really thought through. Uh, yes. And, uh, you know, you just, it's really extremely difficult to choose. We did choose one, but we can say definitely any of you can become winners next time. So keep yes. working on it because if you're a finalist, you are close, you just keep working on it. But yes. we had a lot of beautiful artworks. So let's, yeah. let's, let's see. <laughs> see who is the winner. And the winner for our Innovatrix for 9 to 10, Ellie Soliman. Yeah. I hope Ellie's here. Is Ellie here? Fantastic. Ellie, I hope I she's I hope here. here. Um, it, it's such a beautiful work. Now, uh, it really stands out because she was trying to think outside the square. She had this very dark background. She's put a lot of color on top of it. So it looks very dramatic. And you still have beautiful detail and texture in those glossy eyes. You know, it just it stands out. Well done, Ellie. Uh, you Wonderful. are getting the, the rose gold um, uh, balloon dog prize. Well done. Wonderful. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, I just want to say, Lily Beth, I love it that people are making wonderful comments yes. when you're a when you're able to admire and congratulate people for the good they do. You know what? That's wonderful because when it's your turn, you're going to be very humble and cool about it. Okay, so here we go for our age 11 category. Okay, here are, are, are we have one finalist. One finalist. Okay. Our, our, our lone finalist is Z1 Song. Is Z1 here? I hope you're here. Congratulations. Yes, yeah. Congratulations. I know you've been working so hard on all your work, Z1. It was a very hard choice. Yes. Okay. Beautiful so design. I like I like all the innovative parts of it. It looks very mm -hmm. exciting. Yeah. And even the connection of the creatures in the middle. Yeah. Uh, the reaching out of the palm. I feel I can relate to that with my cat. But anyway, the winner is for our our eleven year old innovatrix, Sonia Berejnaya. 
Well done, well done, Sonia. Uh, fantastic work. Um, I mean, when you look at it, you can straight away see it's so dramatic, uh, and there's uh, a lot of color. And but look at that. So we have a fox looking into the water, and the fox is becoming all magical, like the moon fox fire thing creature yes. happening in the water in the reflection. So it's like it's like wow. It's exactly. amazing, amazing detail. Uh, well done, Sonia. You're getting the uh, silver, silver balloon dog. It's just beautiful. Um, beautiful. Well done. Keep working. Keep drawing. Yes. It's fantastic. I just love the stories that are revealed by all the students' works. Very mm -hmm. cool. Nine okay. tails. <laughs> we're on to the level twelve plus. Okay, so we're going coming to our age 12 plus for innovatrix awards and our finalists are emilia tuitama and alisa yo wonderful wonderful very cool very and beautiful so very exciting yeah very cute creatures definitely definitely yeah. cute. <laughs> yeah. You can definitely see that there was effort into the thinking and the conceit and putting it all together. So congratulations for being a finalist. Okay, uh -huh. our winner for the 12, love, uh, 12 year olds and up is Alice Lambert. Alice Lambert, beautiful work. So now, much detail in this one. Yeah, I, I can, guys, have a really good look at this picture. Uh, I know you have 200 students now in here. So have a really good look what you can see in there. You have lots of things mysteriously hiding in that color. So um, first you can see that wooden looking dragon in there hiding in the roots of the trees. You also see the mushrooms. On top of his head, you can see a little frog and on his yes. tail as well, there's a tiny frog too. And he's holding a little basket. So it's it's very limited colors that she's using here, but it's really beautifully made, lots of details. I'm very excited about this work and I'm very happy you're getting this golden balloon dog. Well done. I know I can notice that you are using um, the color pencils, uh, Maya, what's the name of the color pencils there? Prisma color. I can show it after I come out. Yeah, probably, it's probably it's the Prisma color that you're using, those waxy color pencils, and they're working really well for you. Well done. Yes. Okay. Yes. I just wanted to make, I'm not, I'm not getting any profit from this. Plug. Yes, no, we're not getting profit but, from this. Yeah, but this is the Prisma color that if let's say you've reached the point, especially maybe our older students who've been doing this for a while, and you want to really experiment with your shading. And, you know, this is a really good product, Prismacolor. Okay, yeah, it's so, not watercolor. So it's, it's not, not. Um, it doesn't work with water. But if you are uh, all the students, so maybe age 10 up, and you've been working with us for a while, maybe a year or two, you've been working with us. This is a very cool way to extend yourself because those waxy color pencils, my daughter works a lot with them they blend each other as well and you get smooth blending effects and they're very bright so um this is uh, our recommendation to those older students or if you have been with us for a couple of years or, or you, a year but you if you feel like you know uh, you can go to the next level a bit more um you can actually try them out and my idea yes. is just keep trying them. You can try them in class, but let the teacher know that if you're not working with watercolor pencils because the wetting is not going to work, but you True. can experiment with them and you will be surprised. All exactly. right, let's keep going. So, well done. Okay. Well done, well done. Okay, Elena, talk about Realisticus. Junior. All right. We're there, we're there. Realisticus we're Art done. Award. What is it? So Realisticus um, is all about working with your realistic drawing skills um, and using them in the right way, in the right place and knowing how to use them, obviously, because we teach realistic drawing skills in the classroom and every activity is a challenge and it's a challenge and we teach you some cool tips and skills through that activity and you get to try them out. You may be highly challenged in some activities, some will appear easier, but you will see that with time, as you try it through, 
you are getting better and better results. Now, for realistic as art award, these are students who are really getting really good results now. They've been practicing and we have some even some very young ones. So we have junior realistic art, uh, realistic as art award uh, first, and that's for uh, our five to six and seven to eight age groups. Yes. Um, and you will see what we've got. Let's have a look. OK, so here we go. I'm the slideshow girl. Slideshow okay. Maya. <laughs> okay, so let's get junior realistic. Look at that trophy turning around. So let's see. Age five to six category. We have one finalist, Sienna Young. Well done, Sienna, Sienna for being the finalist. Yes, yes. I great job. Yeah. Yes, I love bunnies. I think, I think we all love bunnies. Okay, love bunnies. our winner for this category is Julie Yang. Julie, I saw you here earlier. Congratulations. Maya, do you want to talk a little bit about Julie's work here for Real Estate? Okay. So Julie, um, Julie, um, she's, she did a really great job. She's six, but she was able to draw this um, Teacher Ann is she's from Teacher Ann's class. She was able to draw this, and I love how she added that fur texture, even just here on the edge of the tail and the body. She did go overly, but she gave it that um, that feel. And I love the face, um, even how she wet. We all know that when we shade, when we after we wet with watercolor pencil, sometimes when we wet, it doesn't look as good. She did a really good job. She kept, she had control, and yet there was still that flow. So congratulations. Say, the petals on the rose is done really beautifully as well with the layers of the petals on the flower. Yeah, I think it's very nice, gentle detail that really, you know, gets our attention as well. Well done. Uh, well done, Julie, at age six. Excellent. Wonderful. Wonderful, oh, Julie. Okay. All right. We'll move on to, oops, I forgot to make him twirl. Okay, there we go. For our <laughs> age seven to eight. I love this. Okay, our finalists. We have Holly Ruakere and Chloe Wong as our finalists. Congratulations. Wonderful. Very, very nice uh, detailed works. This You can see at age seven, they're really trying to get that realistic effect, some texture, some composition. Nice proportions, by the way. Yes, that's true. OK, are we ready for the winner? Are we all yes, ready? Yes, let's have a look. OK, here we go. <gasps> Okay, wow. Lilibet, do the honors of reading the name of our winner. <laughs> um, so the winner is Mika Fanikak. Wonderful. Well Wonderful, done, Mika. Mika. It's so beautiful. Um, Lots yes. of texture. We, we've noticed this artwork for some reason straight away. You noticed that for it is a very beautiful, realistic attempt. You can see the texture is there, the composition is there, sort of, and those little tiny foxes around the mom fox they look so gorgeous all together I, I think it's it's quite a beautiful artwork um and it just demands attention doesn't it now exactly. I, I didn't say what the prize is going to be for a junior realistic as shall i show everyone the okay. prize? okay well done make it fantastic yes well done all right so for junior realistic as we have this beautiful golden dog. I think it's to hold pencils, but you can stick something in it, whatever you like. I think it's a pencil, pencil, um, what is it called? Pencil holder. But looks looks like lovely golden dog there. See? That's you put all your art brushes in there. Yes. Art, art brushes exactly. only if they're dry. <laughs> dry. Dry brushes you can. <laughs> yeah. So that's for our junior realistic award. Now um Shall I shall I explain about the main? Um, yes, I think let's now. do that because that's okay. all we have left. Mm. We're just down to the last few. Yeah, so realistic art award for the main category. It's really hard to get. Um, it's our trophies. You can see here. It's our crystal trophies with golden star, and it says realistic as art competition winner, Realistic Art Award on it. You can't see it. Maybe you can see it if I put it like this. Uh, so to get these beautiful awards, you have to really work hard. 
Um, and you need to show that you can really apply all the realistic drawing skills that we've been studying, or at least we can see that you can apply most of them. So that's 3D effects, color, you've got composition, all of those things that we've been learning about and maybe texture. Okay, so there are, there's quite a big list there, but all of those um, skills, these students have really tried to apply and yes. we can now see the results are starting to flourish. Eh? Exactly. And I, I'll just I'll just have to add to that. It's really building on those skills and yeah. um, just trusting yourself. And that's why we kept on telling you, even during the holiday break, start in your cute creature because we wanted you to have a lot of time. But that's okay. Mm -hmm. If some of you work better under pressure, that's so cool. Okay. I'm that way. <laughs> but Give yourself more time. Let's see how much better you're going to do. Okay, are we ready? Lily, Beth, yes. and Elena. And everyone, we're ready. Okay, let's go. Slideshow girl is ready. Okay. <laughs> Twirl. So let's meet our Realistic Art Awards finalists for age nine to 10. Okay. If you want to clap for yourself, if you're in the running, it's okay. <gasps> Okay, our finalists, Tioden Carden and Samuel Kilkenny. They're both so cute, so cute. Yes, lots of personality. You, you're, it's very eye grabbing, right? And there's also, you see the shading that's been used. Um, yeah, what do you think? A few more words and we'll go lots to the winner. Lots of awesome comments in the, ch in the chat box here. They're saying, okay. love the shiny eye on the green little monster. And um, the puppy looks so happy. <laughs> That's so, so cool. Lots Samuel's of here. here, guys. I know Samuel's here. Hi, Samuel. And to you, Dan, I hope you're here. Uh, I love that naughty puppy. Okay, yeah. are you ready? Are you ready for the winner? Yes. Okay. Yes. And the winner for the Realisticus Art Award goes to Shen Shen Zhang. Wow. Green High School teacher Lily. Shout out to your students. Okay. Where do we begin with Shen Shen? I just have to I'll weigh in a little because I've known Shen Shen. She's been doing this project, uh, this program since she was about almost seven. And she's just gotten better with seeing more and that's what we keep saying whenever you come to class every time we teach you to see and you'll get better at drawing what you see and she her shading the fur texture um all the little details you look at the cat deer and then your eye moves over to the other details i just yeah. love it yeah it really stands out for for us um in this way that it is it is highly creative as well so it's it was a big challenge you know to choose where it's going to go but because it's so realistic at the same time that it really stands out as um, a realistic drawing as well you can see uh, the amount of detail there uh, you've got little fur little you know shiny eyes um, and the beautiful, uh, you know, climbers going up uh, the mushrooms. The composition looks very exciting, you know. Well exactly. done. Well done. Well done. Well done, Shen Shen. And just as an encouragement to everyone, when Shen Shen started, her shading didn't look like that. It was over time that she developed it. So it's really a skill you can develop. You just have to keep doing it. Anyway. Congratulations. Congratulations. We'll Congratulations. Yay. We okay, all start from Stephen and then we all can flourish. Yeah. yeah. Yes, That's yes. an exciting thing. Cute. Yeah. We're in 10. Okay. So we're going to go um, to our next. Oops. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> I forgot. Okay. Age 11 category. Here we go with our finalists. Our finalist is Wendelin Basanes. Wendelin. Yeah. This is very magical, isn't it? Like a very, very enchanted magical. creature. I, I like magical. how that creature is created. It's very 3D as well. Lots of shading and uh, very mysterious creature. Mm. I can imagine it in the woods. It's a bit of a yeah. hybrid, isn't it? It looks like an owl and at the same, it looks like it's about an owl's face. And then at the same time, it's an uh, antelope with wings. Yeah. So it's wow. beautiful. 
Yes, and and we were talking about this yesterday with Lilibet, right? We love the rosy cheeks. Yeah. So those, really. those little details make you think, wow, what's the personality of this creature? Very much like a story going on there. Okay, mm. our winner for the 11-year-old um, Realisticus category is dan, da, da, dan, Ivy Nguyen. Hi, Ivy. I saw Ivy. She was here. Hi, Ivy. Hi, Ivy. Well done. Just, uh, I just, we just couldn't stop looking at this artwork, really. Now, what you can see here at age 11, um, you've got beautiful thinking behind the artwork as well. So you can see not just the realistic drawing skills are really showing through. You've got the texture, you've got the beautiful creative background going on but you also have 3d effects and creative story at the yes, same time exactly. uh, so you can see that you've got the the tiger as the the devil <laughs> or the evil <laughs> evil angel oh, yes you know, and then you have an angel as um the lion as an angel you know with uh, holding a magic white ball um in the hand so uh, maybe it's someone's dream you know, so it's quite, it's quite a beautiful, beautiful artwork. And Ivy, uh, just well done. Congratulations on getting this, um, you know, uh, to work. It's, it's beautiful artwork with lots of details that really grab everyone's attention. I want everyone to show the emoji that this artwork, artwork gives to you. So pause the emoji that it gives to you, the feelings. It's Let's like, see the wow. feels. What's the feels? Oh, okay. Wow. It's amazing. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, music. Very cool. Hi, Amelia. I see you. Hi, Castiel. Okay. I'm just going through the galleries. Okay. okay. Very cool. Well done. Well done. One more. We have. Um, yes, uh, we have. Prize winners for uh, Realisticus Art Award. Okay. I just wanted nice. to. Um, I just wanted to snap out because I wanted to see the faces, everyone's faces. Yeah. Hi, Ellie. I see Ellie there. Okay, Eli. Hello, and Sabrina. Okay, I wish I could call out everyone. But anyway, let's go. I'm so excited. I'm, I've been excited. I've been so nervous. I don't know why. Maybe it's the coffee. Okay, for our Realisticus, that's for you, Ivy. Okay, <laughs> for our age 12 plus category. We have one finalist, Felicity Fang. I saw, I don't, I've never met Felicity, but I, I'm glad I saw her online with her family. Congratulations for making it as a finalist. Yeah, Felicity, very, very cool. beautiful texture. All those, you, you have done really well with the realistic effects on uh, the wolf. I suppose it's a wolf or it could be, it could be a dog. I've seen dogs similar to that too, but looks like a wolf to like me. Like a husky? Yeah, very real. What, what, what do you think? <laughs> Maybe I a wolf? Think wolf. wolf. I think it's a wolf. Yeah, I think, I think it's, it's a wolf. wolf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wonderful work. Beautiful. You can see the textures there. Very exciting. Um, and let's have a look who the winner is. Okay. Really and the winner. Choice. The winner is. Elise Howard. Elise Howard. Elise Howard. Well done, Elise. So exciting. Oh my gosh, we saw that puppy. And look into that puppy's eyes. It's just amazing. Such a cute creature. Cute. Guys, show us the emojis that you feel towards that puppy. Let's have a look. Lots of that. digital clapping Whoa. going on in the Woo! chat. Amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, what I love about this work, and we all really loved um, about this work, was it's beautifully realistic. It's a realistic portrait of the Dalmatian puppy, and it gives you the emotions. You know, you look into his eyes yes. and you go, Oh, I want the puppy like that. It's gorgeous, so real. It's so real yes. as if it's if it's your puppy, you know? <laughs> Amazing. Beautiful. Well done. Well done, Elise. Well done indeed. Okay, so I think I'm gonna stop here before we go to the next because I think Elena you're going to want to talk about this one yes I want to introduce this superstar now um we have the superstar award it's not every year that we have superstar awards but this year we have a superstar award and it's going to go to 
a student who's done amazingly big progress um, over the past years. And you can really see that she can apply all the realistic drawing skills um, in a beautiful way. And she's starting to experiment with um, the higher, prof more professional uh, color pencils, materials as well. So you'll be able to see um, this, this artworks that she's now uh, making. They are not just realistic, they're creative as well. And uh, possibly a future illustrator or designer we don't know, but definitely a superstar. So let's have a look. Okay. So we've called this the Realistica um, Superstar Award. Okay, I think. Let's see what I what we wrote. <laughs> let's see. Oh, El Elise, that's for you. Delayed. Okay. So our Realistica Superstar Award for this year goes to Laura Ferry. Okay, so is... Well done, Laura. Well done, Laura. Well done. Now, guys, give us some emotions for uh, this amazing work. Look at those creatures. I mean, they're they're both very cute creatures, but look at the detail. This I would board. love to know why the cow is wearing a scarf. Yeah, we would love to know why the cow is wearing so a scarf. Cute. He's just uh, maybe he's just a cool very cow, cute. you know, very cool, cute. very hairy cow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Everyone's saying good job, Laura. Lovely artworks. Love it, Wonderful. love it. And Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. And that that frog looks like he is a real king in there, like a prince. Oh yes. Frog. Yes, exactly. Prince, uh, little little frog, the prince. Yeah, really beautiful. Realistic. And um, you can see very muscular. <laughs> what we talked about, very realistic texture on um, on that cow. Look at that. You've got beautiful. Look at it really close. It's really hairy. You can. It looks like he's really smiling in there. That yes. cow. And uh, the frog is very detailed. I love that shiny crown and the bulging eyes that look like they're going to, to pop out there. Very shiny. Well done, Laura. Well done, what you're getting? Well, uh, shall, shall I show Laura what she's getting? Yes. It's a special price. And the, the little cow on the left, guys, that was also done with the wax pencils that we were talking about earlier. Yes. So um, you can see the, the texture, yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's the prisma color. Let's have a look what she's won. Da, 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 da. Beautiful. All right. We've got some wings so you can fly. It's wonderful, beautiful. Wonderful. For, for, um, yes. for our realistic superstar. Well done. So excited. So, we are so super excited to give it to this you. This is a good time for us to congratulate all our finalists, our winners, our little stars, our rising stars. And yeah, let's do a big clap yes. for everyone. I think it was is just fantastic, fantastic results for all of you guys. The winners, and not even the winners, even if you have just put your artworks in the art, uh, the art show, um, and you've put it out there, and you're just starting, and that's okay as well. And if you didn't get it, you got into finalists, or yes. if you didn't even get into the ones we mentioned, because of course, we could talk for hours here mentioning each of your artworks, but we looked at them. We loved your work. It was amazing. This year was really a standout. I think big clap to, just clap to yourselves as well. Yeah, and everyone. We, we want to thank you. Your work. Yeah, thank you yeah. for participating. Now we want to just give some little updates. Let's give give us some emojis that you had for the art show. Let's have a look at your emojis that you've been feeling. Yeah, fantastic. Wonderful. <laughs> so we're almost yeah. finished, guys. We've just got a couple of things we'd like to let you know. So Maya, I might just run through those now, should I? Okay, and yeah, then, um, maybe yeah. what I'll do is, uh, do you want me to show the rest of the slides? Yeah, yeah show, the show yeah. us the rest yeah. of the slides. Yeah. 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 Okay, so let me just share. Um, where is it? There we go. You've been such a great audience. Thank you so much for sticking around. and participating we just love that okay so one more time from laura fairies cow and frog okay so here we go so we want to say to everyone congratulations on an awesome year 
You deserve the congratulations. You've worked so hard. And of course, woohoo! Woo that wouldn't have been possible without our tutors. Okay. Well done. So, Jesus. shout out teacher Anne Marie, teacher Lily from my end. You've been awesome and your the students did so well because of you. Um, Kimmy, Jeffrey, Esme for mm -hmm. Lilibet. And um, I know Fiona, Allison, Elena, who did that? Alba and Karen. Alba. Alba and Karen, yes, well done. And Karen, I haven't met you yet, but well done. Okay, and that is the end of our official slide. So that's my job is done. So we have a little um, announcement Announce. and we're done. Wow, it's just yeah. in an hour. Yay. Yeah. Okay, guys, so just a couple of things. I know you're wondering, those that won the prizes, how you're going to get it. Next weekend, we're going to have a little pickup session for you. So on Sunday, um, those that won the prizes will be able to pop in and pick up their prizes, and we will email you where you can get them from, okay? So that's going to be next Sunday. Um, re-enrollments, everyone. If you're coming back to our class in Term 1, re-enrollments are going to start this week. So make sure you keep an eye out for your um, email, your email re-enrollment. And Tuesday, then we've only on Tuesday, got yeah? on Tuesday. On Tuesday, yeah. Tuesday on Tuesday. Yeah. Yep. And then we've only got two weeks left of our class, you guys. So we've got two classes left and we're going to draw one picture. And um, maybe I should give you guys a little clue. It is a cute creature, but it's a real one that comes from China. And the name of this cute creature is a type of fruit. So I'm going to oh. leave that with you guys to guess. And we'll see you in class next this week. Mm, we've got yes. two more classes left. And the last thing I just want to say, guys, is um, if anyone missed this session of the art show, it's going to be on YouTube. So we'll send you guys the link for it and you can send it to your family and they can watch the same um, art show. OK. OK. All right. Cool. OK. Three, two, Three, two one. Funny faces. Funny faces. Cute creature Three, face. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Get everyone. So <laughs> one more time. Cool. One more time. Funny faces. You can do better, Funny Dominic. Faces. There we go. Yes, we your faces. Awesome. Okay, Very guys. Cool. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you, you guys so much. Right. See you guys. Well done, guys. Bye, Madison. Bye. I saw Bye. you. I wanted to say your name. Red Ranch. Hello. Bye.